Hey guys, this is Robert from Innovative IDM. What I'm going to show you guys today is how to wire an e-stop into the safe torque off inputs built into the new Yaskawa GA800. So safe torque off is a safety function which allows a drive to be connected to both a motor and line power during an emergency stop. It guarantees that no unexpected torque is being generated by the motor during the stop. The safe torque off in the Yaskawa G800 is rated as SIL 3, which means it can be used for applications where a failure has a high severity or failures have a higher likelihood. For this application, we're gonna need a power supply, safety relay, an e-stop, most importantly, We're going to need a GA800. I'm using the Top Job S terminal blocks to keep my wires in order. A really nice cage clamp style terminal blocks from Wago USA. Now let's wire up the relay and the power supply. Next I'm going to terminate the connections that are going to end up going to our drive. Yellow will be our feedback and I'm gonna have this auto reset. Red and white are safety outputs. Our last step here is to terminate connections to our e-stop. Something I forgot to mention earlier, our positive of our power supply is also wired into terminal 32 so that our safety system auto resets. It's working. There are three steps for setting up safe torque off with this drive. The first is setting our programmable outputs to safe torque off. The second is wiring our feedback from our safety relay into those programmable outputs. The third step is wiring our safety outputs from our safety relay into the SDO inputs in our GA800 drive. As you can see, the drive that we're using has a Bluetooth keypad. So we're actually able to change our parameters from our mobile device. Let's go to parameter settings. We're gonna go to our terminal functions, menu H, and we're gonna go to our digital outputs, H2. So let's change terminal M3 and M4 to our safe torque off terminals. We can scroll down to setting 21, which says safe torque off. Our parameters are set. Now it's wire. Here you can find terminals M3 and M4. Here on the drive, we can see our safe torque out inputs. As you can tell, they're jumper together. If you set this drive up for safe torque off, make sure to not lose that jumper as the drive won't run without a connection between those three terminals. Our white cable is coming from a common input, so we have those two terminals jumpered together going back to the safety relay. So check it out. We're running, and we get a new stop. Safe torque off is flashing on the screen. Auto reset. Reset or run command. Good as gold. Thanks for tuning in to this demo of STO with the Yaskawa G800. If there are any other applications you'd like to see worked out, or if you have any feedback about the videos, I'm trying to keep them interesting and informative, give me a shout at robert.fillmore at iidm.com. Our sales team is working hard on a lot of these different types of videos to keep our customers informed during this time. I'll include a link right here. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Bye.